Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and in today's video I'll be showing you how I made this and we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. So um, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need regular size craft sticks, jumbo size craft sticks, hot glue, hot glue gun, wax paper to work on. So basically what we're going to do first is we're going to make the base. And I've already started one here. So um, basically what I did was I took my craft sticks and I cut the ends off with my shears just like this. And I did that on both sides. And then I measured measured it out. So it would be like this. Like this. And um, I just spaced those out and glued it on. And this is going to make your, your look square. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a small one. A small one. We're really going to make one just like this. So I'm going to use this one as a reference to make sure I got them evenly spaced. So there we go. All right. And then we're going to take some hot glue and you're going to put it on your ends. And we're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and glue it down like this. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Just going to go ahead and stick this down just like this. And then you're going to have something that looks like this. And remember, you're going to need to And then what we're going to do now is we're going to start building the uh the base. So, and when you when you want these pieces facing out. So, what we're going to do is going to go like this. Going to put some hot glue here. Normally, I would use wood glue, but for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and wing it with hot glue because it dries faster. So, yeah. So, then we're going to go ahead and put the other part on. And if you got a little bit of hot glue, you can just wipe that off. And um, we're going to go ahead. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my other end on, which will go like this. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put some more hot glue here. And we're going to stick this on just like this. And give it give it a minute to dry. And then you're going to take your last piece and you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue this into place. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue here. And we're going to stick this into place and we're going to hold it here for a minute. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to go ahead, take my glue stick and load it in. And we're going to go ahead and put some hot glue here. And we're going to stick this just like this. I'm going to pull that out a little bit. that dried and the thing that you with hot glue is it dries really quick but if you make a mistake you can just peel it off and do it again it's it's easy to just peel it off and start over um so that's what basically what i'm doing so yeah okay so let me see here okay so we're going to go ahead put some hot glue here and stick this back into place just like this there's that and then what we're going to do next is we're going to bring this back and you should have two of them and you're going to take your skinny sticks like this like these two and you're going to glue them into place 
But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and put some sticks on the bottom. So basically what you want to do is turn that over. You want to measure out where you want that to be. So grab yourself a pencil. I grab myself a pencil and I'm just going to measure and cut. And to save yourself some time, you can go ahead and do, how many do I got across? One, two, three, four, six. So we're going to go ahead and do six. So, And um, if you're wondering where I got my tools, I got them at Stein's, which is a hardware store. And um, they, they work really good for cutting the wood. I'm happy with them. I bought some um, other clippers and they wasn't as doable as these. I, I bent them. So, yeah. So, yeah. Just keep on cutting. And like I said, you want six of them. And you're just going to glue them across. Yeah. They pop all over the place. So, I should have already had this part done, but it's fine. All right. So now we're just going to go ahead and glue these in place. Like this. And if anybody have any little tricks to get rid of the strings from the high glue, please share them with me because it drives me insane. Which is why I don't like using high glue that much because it's a, it's a pain. Those little strings are just, it just drives me crazy. So basically what I'm doing now, I'm just going ahead and going across the bottom and filling that in because you're going to want, you're going to have to have something for your sticks to hold on to when you glue it in place. All right. And this is the last one. You're just going to stick that down just like this. And this is what you're going to end up with. And we're going to bring this back and we're going to stick these into place. So put some glue on the sides here, in here, and we're going to just stick this down here just like this. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm just going to stick that down in here just like this. And you should have two. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to make, set these to the side, we're going to make the seat. And I've already did the bottom, which I took four sticks, and I'll do it again. And this is going to make, this is the bottom of the seat, and then we're going to make the actual back of your seat. So basically what we're going to do is take your jumbo craft sticks. And you can cut these any size you want. You don't have to make it small when you can make a big one. I'm just put some glue here. Stick this down just like this. And then I'm going to run my fingers across and get the excess glue because you don't really need it. Peel that off. That's why I got the wax paper. And then I'm going to just go ahead and do this again two more times. So put the hot glue across, stick this down, and normally, like I mentioned before, I would usually be using wood glue because that's what that's my go-to glue for crafting. But for this video, I'm going to use hot glue because wood glue takes a little longer to dry than hot glue, so it was just it just worked out for this video. And um this one that I'm making now would just be one that I keep setting around the house. I won't do anything, anything major with it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the one that we've already made. You're going to have your spacers out because you would see when you put your seat in, we're going to, I say, we're going to put our seat here. So take some hot glue, put it right on the bottom. Right there, take your seat and stick it into place. And you're going to have to hold this a little bit. And 
and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side just going to go ahead and grab some hot glue and use a good a bit of it stick it here just like this yeah so just like that and we might want I'm going to bring that down a little bit and look at it okay and then what you're going to do next is you're going to take your seat and we're going to put it here but I'm going to have to trim a little off so if you have to trim any off just cut on the edges just like that and this should slide right into place and you want to put it in at an angle I'm going to cut a little more off like this so I rounded off my ends like this or you can do it this way I prefer it this way okay so I'm gonna have to uh, put a little more glue so we're just gonna put a little bit of here like that and a little bit here there we go and um, I'm gonna cut a little bit off I'm cutting a little more off like this that way my seat will fit in place I need to turn this around so I can see okay so now we're gonna go ahead and take some hot glue put it on the bottom of the seat Take quite a bit of it and then we're gonna turn this around so I can see what I'm doing and we're gonna stick this into place I'm wiping up some of the excess glue and you want to put it in at an angle like this so it leans a little bit back And I'm just going to go ahead and secure this with a little more glue. There we go. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not liking the, there we go. Yeah. Okay. And so this is what we have so far. We're almost done. Lastly, you want to take your sticks like this. And you're going to go ahead and glue them into place like this. So stick that down this way and this way and you want to do the same thing to the other side bring this back a little we're gonna stick this here Let's move that. you're gonna stick this here and we're gonna do the same thing to this one so we're gonna stick a little bit of hot glue here and we're gonna do the same thing to this side and we're going to go ahead and stick those down into place just like that and the only other thing that we need to do now is take two more popsicle sticks in your cutters and we're going to cut the ends off just like this okay we're going to set this to the side we're going to cut the ends off and we're going to measure so you take your pencil and you measure to where it is like that cut and we're going to do this twice so you have one and we're going to make another one let's move this out of the way and here's two and what we're going to do, let me turn my camera up just a little bit. So here, we're going to take these and we're going to put a little bit of glue here and here. And we're going to stick those across. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put a little bit of glue here and here. And we're going to stick that down 
just like that. In, move that out of, and there you have it. Let's get rid of those strings. So yeah, and then all you have to do, let's move this. We're gonna bring this here, and then you just, um, you could just decorate it any way you want to. Um, as you can see, I use the green um, moss from Dollar Tree and some Dollar Tree flowers. And I just kind of decorated mine. But you can do yours any way you want. Um, this is how it's going to come out. And you can decorate it any way you want. And if you want the little bars across like this, you can do that too. I'll just go ahead and show you. So, I'll, again, I'll grab my shears, bring this back, and we're going to cut here, in here, like that, and we're going to measure. So, yeah. All right. So, and we're going to need um, maybe, let's see, one, two, okay, we're going to need maybe four of them going across. But you can do as many or as little as you want. You don't even have to make those going across if you don't want to. Um, I am going to go ahead and put them across mine. This one I, I made here. This will be sitting at home. I'm not going to take it anywhere with you know to a craft fair with me. I'm just going to keep it sitting at home. And that's the top. So yeah, this is it. And as I told you, it is smaller than this one so um if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if there's anything um else you want to see please let me know in the comment box below and i'll be more than happy to give it a try to make it for y'all and um yeah if, like i said if y'all want to see me do anything other than a crafting video please let me know because I'm willing to do whatever y'all want to see. So just let me know and have a nice day. Bye.